Throughout our entire career we've experienced a lot of ups and downs and, and it definitely feels like we're at one of the ups. And being on, on tour we've, we've been able to see that all over the world and that's why I think we're really stoked for the, the Honda Civic Tour because I think it's going to be sort of the apex of us going out and feeling that, that energy and that love. I think in order to have longevity as a band you have to commit to to it. You have to say, okay, well, we want to be around for a long time and you're going to have to change, you're going to have to adapt. The music is not what it was. It's different than what it was 10 years ago. So you either commit to, to, that, to that fight to, to stay around or you don't. I think we decided to try and kind of keep it going and see if we could. There's something that's exciting about that. I think that when we see bands like the Stones, who actually mm -hmm. have been around for 10 decades, <laughs> I think that's inspiring. It's like, wow, this band has really bridged the gap between between decades, between generations, I and mean, it's really cool. It took us a while, but we did, you know, over the course of, of many years, I think we have carved out a unique sort of niche of, we definitely have a sound that's recognizable as Maroon 5, and we sort of own it, and there's not a lot of other people occupying that space with us. So that's kind of the way we like it.